Hey there. Okay, so I'm listening to a course called uh, Living from a Place of Surrender, I think is what it is. And it's by Michael A. Singer, and I've talked about his work before in my videos. And um, a cool experience that I had connecting what I'm learning to my um, to, to real life or to everyday life, I guess, uh, is that in this course and in all of his works actually, he talks about how um, we have within our bodies, okay, so these are my words, not his words. We experience life unfolding and we create preferences based on what we see unfolding in front of us. And those preferences create, this is his, his words based on his learnings, samskaras um, in our, my words, energy field. So um, his word would be psyche. So our preferences based on what we see unfolding in front of us create samskaras in our psyches. And with everything that I've learned about our energy, um, I say psyche is our energy field, our aura, or our layers of our um, energy body. And the more that those um, preferences or samskaras build up, the denser our fields get and the heavier energy we feel. So um, we have preferences on things we like and things we don't like. And um, today, the part that I was listening to, he was talking about how um, people wonder, you know, like, why are my thoughts so negative? And he gave a great example. He said that, um, and he was talking about a snake. So you see a rattlesnake when you're out hiking or something, and, and you don't like that feeling that it gives you. And I actually created a video about this a couple of weeks ago on picking up a night crawler. Um, similar feeling, although I think a rattlesnake carries with it a heavier tone of danger. Uh, so anyway, you see a rattlesnake, you feel danger, you experience that, and rather than letting it pass through you, uh, allowing those feelings to pass through you and letting go of them, you push it away because it doesn't feel good inside. It feels uncomfortable and we tend to push away what feels uncomfortable rather than letting it pass through us and, and our bodies to process it and let it flow and let go. So um, there's that, that's a negative experience. And then there's a positive experience. And let's say that um, you experience something that feels good. Like he talked about a first kiss. Um, that elicits a feeling inside of you, provided it was a good first kiss, that uh, you can't ever have a f another first kiss again with, you know, whatever, a single person, right? So if you're always, if you hold on, if you cling, so, so with the negative things, we're pushing them away, we're pushing them down, we're holding them back. With um, the positive things that we're feeling, we're clinging to it and we're wanting to experience it again. So had that having been a positive experience, if you're looking for that in the future and you're not experiencing it, then you see it or you have a, um, then you're disappointed. So, um, he he associated negative thought patterns with those two things um pushing away things that we experience as negative rather than allowing them to unfold and process them in the moment as they are and moving forward and we're clinging to things that we want to experience and then experiencing disappointment when we don't um don't have those happening so here's my real life application for that a couple of weeks ago, I had been driving through um, the town of Wasika, Minnesota, and there's a lake in Wasika called Clear Lake. And I saw three loons on the lake, which is unusual for a lake in southern Minnesota. We don't typically see loons down here. Um, and that caused me to feel joy because I love loons. I love the sound they make. I love traveling up north on vacation. And... Um, and just experiencing the energy of the loons and seeing them and hearing them. They have a really interesting call. And one of my favorite things when I'm on vacation is to wake up in the morning and hear the loons at the loon call as they're flying overhead over the campground. So I loved the experience of driving past Clear Lake and seeing three loons. It was surprising to me. It created a feeling of joy. Um, it created a feeling that I actually realizing now 
clung to and I wanted to experience again. I don't normally drive that route. I normally drive a different road. Uh, for those familiar with the area, uh, Wasika and Clear Lake is on Old 14. I usually drive New 14, which is a faster paced highway to get to where I want to go. Um, but because I saw the loons earlier that day, I took that route, same route home, hoping to see the loons again. And I did. And I started driving that old 14 so I could go past Clear Lake on my way to work and on my way home from work. And I saw the loons a few more times. Now, um, the past few days as I've been driving that road, I have not seen the loons and I have experienced disappointment. And then I questioned to myself, why am I even driving this way anymore? You know, yada, yada, yada. So you go through all of that. And um, as I was listening to him talk about what I just shared with you, I was actually driving by the lake experiencing that disappointment because there were no loons on the lake today and it was an aha moment for me like okay yes I am clinging to that and if I let go of it and let and just enjoyed the moment that I saw the loons as it happened and didn't hold the expectation to see them again I would have more joy in my life and less disappointment because I wouldn't be clinging to the hope of seeing them again. Um, another thing that I've noticed, and I can't think of the word that he used, but as he talked about it, he talked about just being open to life unfolding and experiencing it in the moment and not, you know, not, hold, not pushing it away and not clinging to it. Um, and how that allows your energy to open up and then you're just experiencing life unfolding and you can find more joy with that um, because you're not feeling disappointed or you're not feeling um, the negative uh, preferences of you know seeing a snake and things like that and I have been experiencing that a lot more like I could just sit and look out at the at nature and feel um, let go of any thoughts or preconceived uh, notions or perceptions that I would have originally had about nature or that I was programmed to have about nature but I can just sit in it and let my energy be open to whatever is happening and I really feel the connection with nature and life in general and it's not just nature it's just it's anything it's activity by people in the city um, stuff at work it really is a um, at times it can get to be like I don't like a nirvana maybe is what it is but I I think nirvana is even deeper than that Regardless though, I feel it happening more and more and I would highly recommend practicing it. I think it's very helpful um, just surviving human life and seeing life from um, a much more calm and centered and peaceful state. Okay, I hope that you all have a wonderful day and go and... Mm, practice life unfolding. Bye.